Welcome to St Nicholas Baclou Parish Church. There has been a place of Christian worship on this site for 800 years at least, and the current building dates back to 1420. It's full of historical interest, such as the apse, which is now ruined, where Princess Joanna, the daughter of James I, lies buried. Also, George Monk's infant son is buried here, along with a number of ancestors of the Duke of Buccleuch. When you're here, look out for some interesting features, such as this little figure by the front door, and this skeleton on a gravestone in the graveyard. When you come to St Nicholas Buclou, don't go in by the porch, but go round to the side of the building. There you'll find the west door, which is the door that we normally use on a Sunday morning. Hello, I'm Sandy Horsburgh and I've been Minister at St Nicholas Buclou for about 10 years now. You've decided to come to church here, and I thought it'd be a good idea if I told you a wee bit about what to expect when you arrive. When you get here to church, either for the 9.30 or the 11 o'clock service, there'll be a member of the congregation standing here in the vestibule waiting to greet you. They'll hand you an order of service, which will tell you all that's going on in the service. You'll then come through into the church. There are no reserved seats here in the church, so please feel free to sit anywhere that you'll feel comfortable. If you decide to come to the 9.30 service, I can be conducting the service from here, around where the seats are, so that I'm nice and close to the congregation. If you come at 11 o'clock, you'll see me conducting the service from here at the prayer desk, where I will take most of the service from. The readings, which will be done by a member of the congregation, will be read from here at the lectern, where there will be a Bible. The sermon is preached from the pulpit, it's the only part of the service that I stand here for, but it's an important part because in the sermon I try to explain the Bible readings and to apply them to everyday life for the people who are gathered here at church. At 11 o'clock, the music is led by the organist, and you'll see over here the organ pipes. It's a particularly fine instrument and we're lucky to have it here, and we're lucky to have such a good organist to play it. Another important piece of furniture in the church is the communion table. We use it every week when we place the offering which goes in one of these wooden bowls onto it. That signifies our giving of what we have back into the service of God, recognising that all that we have comes from Him. On a few occasions in the year, we celebrate the Sacrament of Holy Communion, also called the Lord's Supper. And so on those occasions, I'll stand here behind the table. The bread and the wine will be upon it, and we shall share that feast together. A few years ago, we took out the old pews. They were rather worn and, anyway, very uncomfortable for the congregation. And now we're fortunate to have flexible seating which we can move around into a variety of different patterns. As you see it today, this is the normal pattern for a Sunday morning, but recently we've set it out in a circle. We've even had a coffee morning in here, with tables set out and the chairs around them. The service lasts about an hour, and this clock on the balcony helps me keep to time. I hope very much that you will enjoy being in St Nicholas Buclou. I hope too that you've enjoyed this short introduction and that it will whet your appetite to find out more about what we do here, what the worship is about and what the life of the congregation means in Dalkeith. We look forward to welcoming you.